Hello Aquarius, welcome to July. It is sure to be a very dynamic month for you. There's a lot for us to talk about, but before I get started, I do want to let you know that registration is now open for my next beginner's astrology class. This is a Zoom class I teach every Saturday starting August 12th for four weeks. It is recorded, so if you're on a different time zone, if you can't attend live, don't worry. Most of my students don't attend live because of the time zone thing. It's not a problem. What sets my classes apart from other astrology teachers is that for the past 18 years, I have always personalized all of my lesson plans using your charts. I use my students' charts not only in the lesson plan, but in your optional homework assignments. I provide unlimited email support while you are a student of mine. And in this foundational course, you are going to get a rock solid foundation that will teach you about the planets, the signs, the houses, the basic structure of a birth chart, the elements and the modes. And we are going to do something that I like to call weaving the web of an astrological birth chart. I'm going to get you started on this technique so that you can advance yourself should you choose and really learn meaningful horoscope analysis, how to do that for yourself or anyone else. So if you would like to become one of my students, I encourage you to click the link below in the description box, go to insightfulastrology.com, and there is a $50 early bird tuition deduction off of the rate right now. So I hope I see you in my next class. Now let's get to talking about you and your world for the month of July. We get started with a full moon in Capricorn on July 3rd that illuminates the most hidden part of your chart, Aquarius. This is the 12th house. And this is saying that you need some downtime. You're probably feeling like you're ready to, to take a break, to be more um, reclusive, self-reflective, okay, that kind of an energy, maybe spiritually inward. Um, or for some people, this can actually be a breakthrough in counseling. If you're in counseling, if you're, uh, it could be a psychological breakthrough where you're releasing a fear or an anxiety. But often I see 12th house energy as you just need to be alone, sit with yourself, not be around too many people and have some much needed me time to restore yourself. And so honor that. Now, when we get to July 10th, Mars, the planet of action and energy will enter Virgo and moves into your eighth house. The eighth house is a money house. This is not money that you get from your paycheck, but this is money that comes to you literally from any other option. This is passive income. This is royalties, commissions, bonus money, insurance payouts, settlement money. Um, it, it's, it's inheritance, investments. It's money that you get from your spouse or partner for, or even an investor. This is banks, credits. Um, this is the IRS. Okay, so this energy with Mars here, Mars does a couple of things. It will activate what it touches and it will inflame what it touches. So what is activated now is the energy that you have to focus on big money matters, handling big financial endeavors, whether that is just being aggressive in paying down debt, or it could be aggressively investing in something, being very ambitious about an investment portfolio, being proactive, being ready to make some moves with your eighth house money. But remember, Mars also inflames and aggravates what it touches. So what this could also do is create a very big expense but you'll handle it. So I'm not worried about that, but it might create a big expense like finding out that uh, an insurance premium is going up astronomically or finding out that you are approved for some kind of a loan or credit, but the interest rate is much higher than you thought. You have to fit this into your reality and into your life. Eighth house money is a, is a very big umbrella, but this could be a big annoying expense that you have to take care of. You'll take care of it over the next couple of months. So I'm not worried but it is there in your energy potentially. Now, when we get to July 17th, there is a new moon in Cancer that's going to fall in your sixth house. The sixth house traditionally is about health and about our daily routine. So this new moon might be bringing an opportunity for you to start a new healthcare protocol, depending on what's going on with your personal health situation. And this doesn't have to be anything too serious. This could be you hire a personal trainer or you start a new diet plan. Uh, this could be a new supplement or going to an integrated doctor and just trying some new technique. This is positive and you should have some good results with it. 
Uh, I do think that for some of you, this is more about work and it could be about work and health at the same time where this new moon here might be about you hiring somebody. If you are employed, uh, if you have your own business, then you may hire somebody to work for you. If you are, if you work for a company, then there may be new staff around you, new colleagues, new coworkers that come into your office. And if you yourself are looking for freelance work for another job, you could put out your resume very successfully after this new moon and secure interviews rather quickly. Now, this isn't a promotion. This is a lateral move. This is a job. This is a freelance job, a side hustle. This is a lateral move. It's not going to be a step up. So just understand that that is the difference between sixth house energy versus 10th house energy. This is sixth house. This is job, daily routine. There's something new also with your daily routine, which should be very favorable for you. Now I want to talk to the biggest transit that makes the most impact in your life for sure. We talked last month about Venus going into your partnership sector and how significant this will be because Venus is going to be here till October, an unusually long time. And that is because Venus is going retrograde this month on July 22nd. And until September 3rd, Venus, the planet of love, beauty, harmony, self-worth will be retrograde in your partnership sector. And this says you are ready for a karmic course correction in relationship dynamics. Now, this could be a personal relationship like a marriage or committed partnership, but it could also be a business partnership. And if you are in a business where you see clients, the seventh house is your clients. So this doesn't exclusively apply to romantic relationships. Venus is the planet of love. So if you are in a relationship, that relationship is definitely going through a course correction. If you are single, then you may uh, create an opportunity, a karmic meeting with somebody that you have a soul contract to enter into a relationship with, someone from a past life perhaps, or somebody that you met already but never got into a relationship with, or somebody that maybe you did get into a relationship with and now you are reconciling. That is all possible during this Venus retrograde. But if it's not about romance and love and what's in your heart, this could be about business. And remember, Venus also rules money and your talents and abilities and self-worth. And so there could be a course correction in a business partnership that is on the horizon for you, Aquarius, over the next couple of months. And this course correction, it's, it's setting things straight. It's just making sure that there's more equality in the value that you both offer to whatever business this is, as well as the feeling of appreciation, of reciprocity in this business alliance. So it is something that occurs every eight years. If you didn't watch my forecast last month, I'll just repeat this quickly. This particular retrograde happened the summer of 2015, and then eight years before that, eight years before that, every eight years, we will have a Venus retrograde in Leo, and it's over the summer months. So think about the themes that were happening back in 2015, and you'll understand more about what you might be reevaluating specifically connected to partnership dynamics. For some of you, this might even be about uh, remarrying or going back into a partnership with somebody in business from the past. So it's going to be a very exciting time for you, Aquarius. There's a lot of karmic energy around Venus matters for you. And it's time to get into it. Embrace it because what this is all going to result in is a much more joyful expression of you and somebody else in a close connection.